Welcome back folks to Metroid Fusion here on the Heavy Biz X channel. Wow, man, last episode was revealing. Not only were the Federation producing their own Metroids, which we kind of just put in that in the bud, but we found that there's at least 10 SAX in this place. And now we have to make our way back to our ship, but to do so, we need to start making puzzles. As I mentioned before, there are specific puzzles in this game. Yeah. To do that though, we need to start piling on the pressure, and we get the introduction of the worst and worst space fire enemy ever. The golden ones. These are fucking tough as nails. They do a lot of damage. It's not the best example of the show, but they go down, they, they are only vulnerable by back shots, and that's about it. Moving straight on, we're, we're getting our next power bomb upgrade, 44. So you know we are actually getting close. We are very close to the end of it. And this is the least systematic problem, but you may have noticed that we now this several ways to go so do, to do so. It's this. Don't worry though, we're nearly there. So there is a way up. Do that though. Just put a power ball over there and it reveals our way up. Do which then reveals the space pirate. As it were. Now, this room is an asshole because there is no way forward. But to do that, but there's no, but the doors are open. So to do that, though, we need to kill every one of these creatures, and it, and it should then spawn a friggin' gold for these guys to get saved. And just remember, just keep too close, not too much. And then just do that. They have to do. They have to do. They have to kill two of these. Apparently, the attacks are very successful. That enemy defeated. Move on to the left, and there you go. That's about it. Stop that. From potentially nipping ourselves in the ass. Okay. Uh, not much on that top left screen. Well, there's another save point here. No light ever. Why have two save points that are so close to each other? It's not like they're gonna throw throw a boss at us already. We barely even beat the last one, which was the uh, nightmare, which we gained the. Uh, Gain the gravity suit as well as the score attack. Well, yeah, so there is some. Anyway, do not get used to this one. We're going to be getting something that completely just completely makes it the best combination of the game yet. Yeah. Boss time! Uh, you know what you're doing for the boss because, yeah. So, in we go, and it's boss time! Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding! Yep, it's time to face Wrigley! Now, as it as it actually has now emerged, this is not your tip. This is the this is the Ridley. This is the Ridley that was in other M, but it was but it was killed. Oh god, but it was killed by the by the final boss of the of other M. It was killed off screen by the uh, by the final boss there. But, as it turns out, it then it got sucked dry and then it became a sort of a uh, husk. Then the X came along, infected it, and there you go. That is the reason why it's here. And now we're facing off against the X version of that clone, Ridley X. Basically what we need to do is just pound him with missiles. See all those missiles? We need to hit him a lot. But also, Ridley has this ability to grab you and hit you hit towards the wall. This is actually an easy boss. If you just basically run around, hit him with just lots of misses. You're expected to lose a lot of misses. Every time he closes his eyes, he is getting close to death. In fact, this is pretty much the closest we've ever seen. Ridley is close to death here. He just unloads all the misses here. The tail basically blocks off most of it. Keep going. And it's dead. The, 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 the basically, Ridley X is dead, which means we're going up against another Core X. You know how to take care of the Core X by now. These are the easiest parts of the boss, and the missiles are basically the indication of what's going on. That's about it, really. That is all about it. And I believe one more. And we finally get the. And hopefully, this will be happening soon. It's going it's to turn itself. There we go. That's it. We get the screw attack. This is a fan. This is a possibly the best attack in the game. It's a fantastic attack. 
but they're very shitty website at the same time. I know, because I work for them and they're terrible. Anyway, moving on. All, all, see this? If we combine the screw, if we combine the uh, space jumps infinite vacuum with the screw attacks that uh, potentially destroy enemies, this attack now becomes literal, you don't need the beam. This thing does the jump for you. This destroys everything else. Really. This thing destroys everything and utter everything. It, this is just basically a holding room. This work. And as you can see here, it destroys these things. This is a su this is no there's nothing in this room, so there's not much point going here. It's only for map completion purposes. But good news is we now have the means to actually go ahead and go ahead and start going through the game. Because now we're gonna be moving on to once we defeated Ridley, everything is open to us. Literally, everything is open to us. Screw attack is the strongest attack in the game. True, it is. We don't need to do this again. I just want to show what you can do with it. And it just destroys the gold ones. It really does. It lit nothing can touch you. The only thing that can technically touch you at this point is the SAX. Is technically the SAX. But I don't want to go back from there. Basically, we don't want to do this again as long as I head out of the room at this point, so. There it is. Ridley X has been beaten quite a bit. Conquered as I will. Quite easily as I thought it would. So that's it. That's it basically. All the all the more de terrifying bosses are gone. Ridley is dead again. Uh, or technically Ridley was dead. His clone is now dead. The, the, the Ridley that was in other M, he's now dead. There's no pointless reason for Samus to get fearful when, when I basically kick the shit out of it. Anyway, moving on to the side. We're not fully done yet. Actually, we are. We're just going to use the screw attack now to get back to where we were before. Basically, everything is openest. We're now going to be able to the point where we can literally just go through the game now. And essentially, what we're going to do is we're going to start cleaning up. Because, essentially, it's the last part of the game. And if we go near a navigation room now, it's going to trigger the final part of the game. We don't want to do that yet. We do not want that to happen yet. We are not going to do that. We are actually going to collect what, what's left. See? No, the space fires don't do shit. Seriously, they cannot do shit. You're literally a de You're literally dead. Only reason why you can't do this is because of all of everything else, but you can't really space jump this quick. Right. Let's get back to, uh, let's get back to the same point. Did I just saw what I- Did I just see what I just saw there? I did, didn't I? Fuck, I did. That was a me- That was a Metroid hat. That was a Metroid shell. Ah, shit. They're evolving. And they're uncontrollable. Great. How not cool is that? That, that doesn't sound cool at all. Great. I know what's coming. It's not good. It's worse from here. Holy fuck shit. Yeah, you remember that m most of Met you remember Metroid 2, right? Most of that stuff was there, essentially. Uh, if we go from here, there's a little bit of a puzzle there. We can't do that yet, but this is technically a Shine Spark puzzle. And yeah, this is a Shine Spark puzzle and a very tricky one at that. Our job objective, of course, is to make sure everything's fine. So, we got that, and it turns out that that's okay. Fine, fair enough. Right, we need to kill, we need to make a running start. We need to do something about that. Right. This is what you're supposed to do. You are supposed to destroy everything here. Use the shiny spark there. Make it ah, screwed it up. Fuck, I screwed it up. Right. What you're supposed to do. You are supposed to quote unquote. Run from this point here. And then take a running leap all the way over here. Build up as speed as you can. Oh, and I fucked up again! The fuck? This is, I have no problem with this one. I know what the solution is. It's a it's a shine spark puzzle. You need to you need to maintain the shine spark. Right, go for it. Try this one more time. Uh, build up the speed. Go all the way around here. Stop there. Spring jump there and use it up here and then get all that for power bombs. 
That's a lot of power bombs. Not gonna lie. That's a lot of power bombs. That's all that for a power bomb upgrade. But the best thing about this is that we can't go back where we came, right? Well, turns out that, uh, as I mentioned before, the uh, space jump is perfect for shine spark technique. Uh, save here for the moment because we're not gonna do much. We're really not gonna do much. We can't go near a navigation room for now. So for the next bit, we are actually gonna try and go through all the Use the space jump, do that, shine spark it, do that, and that is. Ooh, this is an advanced technique called advanced shine sparking, and we get our hands on our 16th energy tank, which is good. Remember, this is when if you shine spark onto a platform that basically curves into a flat, you can technically carry the charge on. That is what we, that is an advanced shine spark technique. Expect quite a few of these. Expect a, a few more of these. That's a lot of things. Yeah, it's a lot of things. But. We're not that far off. But we're pretty much in all the platforms are vulnerable to Shane's Bar. So, we got everything that we need in Sector 1. We're just gonna clean up everything. There's actually not no, I'm, I'm actually bullshit. There is we have got the thing here. And we need to go here as we were. Back from here. And back to the lava pit. But there's a there's one more segment here. And let's get more missiles here. That's about it. Of course. Uh, let's see. Here. More missiles here. Like so. As you can see, there's a green door here. Rather than a, everything else. Well, it's mostly due to that. Now, that shell in particular is re quite revealing. Because... It is a spoiler for who the final boss is. I'm not saying who the final boss is, and nor should you want to reveal what the final boss is, but technically I don't want to say anything. Right now though, we're gonna use the we're gonna use the uh, screw screw attack to get more power bombs here. In fact, this is all that, that is needed. There's nothing there. Actually, yes there is. And we have this. We have hidden bloody map. We have hidden bloody passageways to give us access to all the other levels of the game. Which includes all the sectors. Now we're going to use these for hunting down other things. So if you want to go ahead and collect all the mid all the stuff here, go right ahead. Go ahead very, very well. We're not quite done yet. No, we're not quite done, because this is actually the first of many collecting missions. In fact, this is going to take quite a bit of stuff, which we don't need. So we need to find a map of where we need to head to next. There's a couple of things here, but we do need a... Uh, we need to find a map, as it were. That map's going to be... We need to find a way forward. We're going to be going back to... Ver we're going to now head back to various different sectors. So you may want to do that. So head back down here. We're in sector two. Nothing's gonna happen to section sector at all. So we're gonna try and find. A, we're, gonna, we're gonna head to a safe room, and then later on we're gonna carry. We're gonna, in the next episode, we're gonna carry on from. We're gonna be doing. And this is the this is the first of mint of collectible hunting, or as we would like to say, this is this is to get the 100% in the game. So. Stay tuned for the next episode. We are not that far off from the end. So, see you next time.